Well, good morning, everybody. So it's been a while since uh, I've been online. <coughs> haven't um, haven't been doing anything for uh, for YouTube, but um, that's because I've been kind of busy building a, a new machine, and um, you know, I, I really wish I set up the cameras and film the whole process uh, you know but I just never uh, seem to have the time to to do that once you get going you know that's the last thing sometimes that you think about and I'm not that serious of a youtuber really so I uh, you know I'm not too concerned about it but I did take some uh, before and after pictures of a new machine a new mill uh, that I have and uh, I, I got a project a uh, little project that I got to do um, right now and I th thought this would be a perfect opportunity uh, to you know spend five minutes doing an operation that I haven't done before um, and this will be a uh, boring operation an external boring operation so let me introduce you to the new mill first uh, or new mill to me <clears throat> uh, and uh, yes I hope everybody's having a good coffee this morning I certainly am it's great so this would be a uh, what one would call a Bridgeport clone. Um, it is uh, not a full size. It's just slightly smaller than a full size Bridgeport, which is really the ideal size uh, for a small basement shop. It didn't look anything like this when uh, when I bought it, but um, I'll just uh, try to get in here a little closer, move the tripod out of the way, and uh, show you a little bit of what I've done here. So um, starting at the top, I've kept the uh, single phase motor, which I do plan on changing because this is a belt driven machine and it has a very limited number of uh, speeds. Um, so, so that will be changing. Um, you know, ideally, you know, a different head with a back gear would be, uh, would be better, but I think uh, going with uh, a VFD and a three phase motor will help me uh, get to some of the lower speeds that, that, that I need, even though I may not have the torque. Um, I completely stripped down the machine and, uh, um, you know, gone through everything. I re-scraped uh, all the waves, all the surfaces as well too, um, you know, reconditioned everything, um, installed new, uh, new electronics, um, power feed on the x-axis, works just fantastic. This is a Vivor, by the way, same one that Mr. Pete just did a review on. He had some trouble with his, but th this is flawless. It works, uh, uh, it does the low speed with no problem at all so I think there was a an issue with his um, uh, with his setting um, I have a uh, small four inch um, CNC Kurt uh, vise on there um, ideally a six inch would be better but I sold all my six inch vices so I've been playing around with this one and I really quite like it it's um, it's a really really nice vice I gotta tell you it's accurate it's um, it's nice even though it's only four inches uh, it does a lot of the work that I need for now, but uh, um, when I come across a, a six-inch vise, uh, I'll probably change that out. But in the meantime, that's uh, working quite nicely for me. Uh, the table is a 38 by 8 inch. Um, most of the time, they're 9 inch tables. Uh, so the that one extra inch, um, you know, I, I don't know if that's going to be an issue now, but it doesn't seem to be so far. Um, what I do notice is the uh, Z-axis travel. Uh, I run out pretty quickly, and so I I really wanted to get a riser, but I can't find a riser for for this machine. It's a 12-inch uh, turret at the top, and most of them are, I think, 14 uh, inches. They're they're bigger. So this this is the this is the turret riser that I would need for I think it's a Grizzly um, or a Jet. Um, they're the same they're the same machine, the Grizzly and the Jet. Uh, um, none of them seem to be available anymore. Uh, this is a 2002 machine, uh, so I really need to try to look uh, harder. Um, I replaced uh, and painted also the knobs, um, you know, red. Uh, got some McMaster car knobs, which I really like. Uh, did some red accents, you know, wherever, um, where I could. I rebuilt the whole brake. There's no brake assembly inside here, so I built a new one uh, out of brake pads and machine what the cams and the parts that I needed to make that happen and now it really works nice it's uh, it's fantastic um, great uh, great addition uh, this is the um, fine feed adjustment um, rebuilt everything inside there make it all uh, new and clean 
uh, repainted, of course. I have the uh, boring bar set up here. I'll explain that in a minute uh, once I get to it. I completely rebuilt the um, oiler system. Let's see if I can get down here. Uh, I replaced uh, most of the aluminum lines with uh, plastic lines and you can see the manifold right there and uh, of course it all goes inside. That used to be all aluminum and they're all bent out of shape. So we replaced all that with uh, new lines and uh, it just uh, pumps beautifully, rebuilt the pump and uh, yeah, it, it, it's really excellent. Oh, there's a knob that I need to replace. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, yeah, I, uh, I did buy from Jet, I believe, uh, the replacement covers and they're, they're actually too small. They uh, didn't fit properly so uh, I just 3D printed a couple of uh, plastic uh, screens uh, just temporarily and until I can CNC plasma um, some uh, sheet material, perforated sheet material that would uh, be more suitable. But in the meantime, a uh, 3D printer uh, in a shop is uh, just an awesome addition. I just get that back in there um, because the oil does leak down the, uh, the knee. And the rest of the uh, machine, um, you know, of course it didn't look anything like that. It was all chunked out and, uh, and you know, quite the mess, but uh, it, it turned out really quite uh, beautifully. Very, very happy with, uh, with this machine. And uh, anyway, here we go. It's a bit tight here in the shop, so that's why I'm zoomed in a bit. I have to work around my table saw, which is my main workbench here as well too. But uh, I'll be back up there so you can try to get a better, better view of, uh, of this guy. Anyway, so there you are. That's the uh, that's the new knee mill that's replaced my old RF45, which I really liked. It was a great machine.